Hey guys, tonight me and Tamara are going to be trying the Screaming Sicilian uh, Stromboli. Uh, these are new to us at least, we've never seen these anywhere. We got these at uh, Meyer for $7.99. This one is the Lucky Plucker Chicken Pesto. Um, it is um, filled with white meat chicken, uh, provolone, mozzarella cheeses, pesto sauce, parmesan, and romano. The um, half of a stromboli, and there's two strombolis in here, so four servings. Um, half of one is 330 calories, so 660 if you eat a whole thing, which is, I guess this isn't too bad for as big as they, you'll see that they are. Um, there's three different ways you can cook them. You can do it in just the oven, like stick it directly in the oven and, and cook it that way. You can do it in just the microwave, or the preferred method for the Christmas is the microwave and the oven. So what you do for that is you, um, you cook from frozen, so you take it straight out of the, the, um, the freezer. Keep a stromboli in the clear outer wrapping, which you'll see in just a second. Um, you're going to you're going to vent one end of the wrapping microwave safe plate for two and a half minutes on 70% power. And then once you get that, you transfer it to the oven. You put it directly on the center rack of the oven, and you bake at 400 degrees for nine to 13 minutes. Um, the last time we did one of these, we have done one of these before. Um, it does leak out in the bottom of the oven, so make sure you have something underneath there. We've got like a, this little uh, protective uh, thing that goes in the oven, bought it at Bed Bath & Beyond. It wasn't that expensive, and it works wonders. So, all right, this is what they look like. And it seems like this is a little thin, flimsy plastic bag. It's really not. It actually ends up um, turning into like this stiff bag. So this is like a bake-in bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna vent the ends, just literally, um, Pop a little hole in the end so, so air can get out. And I'm gonna go ahead and make both of them. And I'm gonna get these in the microwave and then I'll get them in the oven and I'll show you when they come out. All right, here they are out of the oven. I just got them, I just grabbed them with an oven mitt. Um, they came out pretty easily. Um, they do have a green sauce. Green. Well, if I can open the plastic, I'll show you what it looks like. Do the warm. There we go. Let me get a knife. Actually, two knives anyway. And two forks. Okay. I'm just going to cut it right in the middle. Wow. Got a lot of chicken in there. I don't know what that green stuff is. I guess that's the pesto. So I'm gonna put these on this plate. I'm gonna save the other one for later. And um, I'll be back. All right, we're here. Um, it's probably still hot, but if we cut probably. them up. Probably. If we cut them up, it should be all right. Tammy looked it up. Um, basil is, I mean, um, pesto is a combination of like, uh, what was it? Basil leaves, pine nuts, garlic, uh, Parmesan cheese, and um, oh. olive oil. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what they said pesto. So it's a sauce. green sauce. That's why it's yes. green. It's not a tomato based sauce, it's, a, it's something else. Sauce. Right. Okay. A lot of cheese. Now, what surprises me is the Lucky Clucker pizza. I was thinking was a spicy. I was like thinking it was um, buffalo uh, chicken. Yeah, like uh, yeah, but but really hot. Yeah, like buffalo buffalo chicken. Yes, I, I was thinking it was chicken, but I was thinking that when we reviewed the pizza, that it was one of those that I said this is really spicy. Um, so this is a very, very different it's mild, isn't it? than what I expected. Yes. This is um This is very mild. It's good. Mm-hmm. And the crust is good. Um got a good flavor to it. It's got tons of cheese in there. Big hunks of chicken. The pesto sauce is really pretty good. I mean it's definitely a, you can definitely taste the sauce. Right. Um, I don't know that I like this any better than, than the, the last one we had was the Supremus Maximus. Right. I think I liked it better because it had a little bit more spice to it. This one's just more of a, 
a chicken and, and some savory seasonings. Right. Uh, like a baked one, chicken. Um, it's, it's good, but I would personally not buy it again. Mm. That's just my personal preference. I prefer red sauce. Uh, even with stromboli sandwiches, I love red sauce. And that's just, uh, th like I said, that's a personal preference. A lot of you will love this pesto sauce. Yeah, um, it's good. Definitely so, a lot of it. Yes. So I would prefer to buy one that has the red sauce. Uh, but that's just me. It uh, it does have a very good flavor. It's just not it's just not one that I would choose again. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it yeah. at all. I mean, I'm gonna eat this one. Yeah, yeah. So there's there's nothing wrong with it at all. So you liked it too? Um, I like it, but I agree with you. It's not one that I would like, but that's that's purely personal preference. Mm -hmm. So if you like chicken and basil, if you like like a baked chicken with seasoning. I think you'd really like this because like I said, it, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a personal preference. Right. It has nothing to do with the quality at all because mm -hmm. like we've said, Screaming Sicilian is like our favorite um, frozen pizzas. Right. If you have not tried their frozen pizzas, you need to try them. They're totally worth it. And uh, we even have Andrew and Christina buy them. They, right. That's all they buy now. And a lot of people have told me in the comments that once they've tried them, they really love them. So you have some really high quality ingredients oh, yeah. here. They really do a good job. This is just not. Yeah, I wish it was a little spicier, I guess. Yeah, a little, it needs a little bit more flavor, Something, doesn't it? Yeah. Something else. I Although if you're, if you're used to like a milder flavor, you don't want to something really spicy, this might be perfect for you. You. Right, and actually we have some dipping sauce in the kitchen. We might get that and add that to this and dip it in there. Maybe. Maybe. I think I'll just eat it. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.